I'm Anita Finley, and I'm the, the host of the Zoomer Times TV presentation. And I have something unique. I don't often do real estate interviews, but I have two beautiful women who are very interested in the senior market. So if you're someone who lives still lives in your home and you shouldn't even be there anymore, you should downsize or go to a senior residence, I think you'll be very interested in this conversation. I'm going to introduce you to, uh, to two lovely ladies, Jackie Murdocko and Shirley Pardon. And they are uh, with Keller Williams, which is a Keller Williams, I guess it's called Eagle Realty. They're one of the largest real estate organizations in the country, maybe the world, but in the country, I know. And they're very, they're very careful who comes to work with them. They're well-trained. I know that organization. So I am very proud to present these two beautiful women who are so smart, but the special part is they had to take a, spe a, a course in how to deal with seniors. And it's called the senior, let's see, it's called senior real estate specialization. That's what they do. And so, and you know, you might think that's casual. It's not, and I'm gonna have each one of them give you a little piece of what that took to do it. So well, Shirley, why don't you first start off uh, why did you even do this? You're in real estate anyway. And why did you think that was important? Because I started to have clients that um, were a little older. Um, they had been in their homes 30, 40 years. It was completely full of all their collections over the years. Lots of big furniture, lots of rugs. Um, little knickknacks um, on every surface. And so I said, I, we're taught as realtors to say, we need to stage your home, we need to get rid of the clutter. And I looked at this and I thought, this is not clutter, this is their life memories. And I was, after that experience, I knew that the senior real estate specialist de designation existed. So I looked into it and uh, through the Realtor Association and found out that there was a class we have to get properly accredited. So I went to, this was obviously before pandemic, uh, this was a few years ago, and I went to Fort Lauderdale and I took a three day class and they cover absolutely everything to do with senior real estate and how important the elder care lawyers are um, how the, um, they need insurance people, they need financial advice, but they also need practical, they need someone coming in that can look at their things or maybe have an estate sale, bring someone in to um, get the furniture sold. And then we do our real estate, which is to then find them somewhere suitable. Either they want to downsize or they want to, um, they need to go into assisted living, whatever the family or they have decided. But it's a niche that I felt that as I was a boomer, that I fitted into. And I just felt that people like this didn't want young whippersnapper agents coming in and saying, get rid of your clutter. <laughs> right, right. And, and women right. seem to understand a lot of things they need. So, so I'm going to ask you, though, uh, Jackie Murdako, how did you meet uh, Shirley? She seems like a pistol. She is. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, we both have an interest in working with the seniors and retirees. And we met at Keller Williams, so we decided to start the team and really focus on it and provide a concierge service to these clients instead of, um, like she said, just coming in and we're selling your house and be out tomorrow. That's not how seniors and retirees work. They want time to process everything. So it, it takes a special kind of real, real estate agent to, to deal with that. And we both like that. A lot of my clients have been seniors and retirees and I've helped them through the process. And at the end of the day, they move on and they're very happy. So I, in my previous life, I was an occupational therapist. So ah. I, I worked in a lot of nursing homes, a lot of assisted livings. I've worked with seniors my whole life. Um, so I relate very well to seniors and um that's that's my niche. That's who I like to work right. with. I that's don't want to work with the young uh, kids yeah. either. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I like 
it's it's a big move. It's a it's a big emotional move when somebody moves and you need somebody there to hold your hand and walk you through it. And that's what we're going, that's what we do. You know, I like the word that you use, concierge service. Isn't that nice? That's, you know what a concierge does. So that's great. And also I liked uh, what Jerry said about um, staging, because we all know that uh, seniors, have, some people have lived in their homes for 40, 50 years. Yeah, and everything yeah. is precious to them. In fact, I just got off a a network um, meeting talking about hoarding, and and you know they don't see this as hoarding. What they see this is uh, these are their memories. But yet another person coming in, they don't want to see all those pictures. They don't want to see all those things. So you have the specialty, understand sensitivity and how important it is. So when you think about this, uh, Shirley, you're you have, a, let's say someone calls, by the way, you'll be able to see their ad. I'm going to put it up here. They have an ad in Boomer Times in our May issue. They're the two lovely ladies. And, and what they're doing is they're hoping that people who uh, think they want to sell their home or think they want to buy a home, there might be people even coming here. They specialize in Miami-Dade County. Um, and, and you need to have someone who's going to be patient. And especially if you are a senior, they're going to take those special, um, that special time with you. So Shirley, let's think about this. Um, so when you, you get a call and it's a person, let's say they live in Miami Shores or they live somewhere and they have a home they love, but they have to move, it's just too much for them. How do you handle explaining to them that they're gonna to have to pack up a lot of that stuff before you can put it on the market? <laughs> Well, the, the way that we want to form um, our team of people referrals is that, as Jackie said, we would spend the time to explain to them that they need to either, um, if they're going to move to a smaller place or if they're going to assisted living, they would have to um, get rid of their things. And so it's just a way of explaining to them that they couldn't take everything and why don't they choose what they would like to take. I mean, obviously, that's the first thing. Once you've once you made a little cut, you know, the next cut is not quite so painful. <laughs> and so and we have we have very sensitive people. Um, that do this. They come in and they understand that every little thing is precious. And so they treat it as such. And they don't just say, oh, well, it's all junk and uh, someone will take it away. No. Right. <laughs> and so uh, we, we have someone that um, I personally have worked with and seen how she values each item and with, you know, with the owner. So it's a question again of spending time, understanding this is not junk. This is, you know, they might've gone to China or um, Japan and, and picked up all these little knickknacks that we all do. And they're just really special, especially if one of them has lost their spouse and mm -hmm. they bought it as a gift or they bought it as a special you know, occasion. So we're very sensitive and tuned in to this. And so we would sit with them and we would give them the time and explain this that someone coming in is just going to want to see uh, basically a bare as possible bare room. And so, yes, we can leave a couple of things. And also, if you're going to have people in your home, you don't want the risk of something getting broken and have it knocked because somebody wants to look behind a, a desk or a table. So... It's sensitivity again. This yes. Let me, and I'm going to give the phone numbers out um, all throughout this interview. So please get your pencil, get your paper. Don't do it on just any paper and put it on something that's going to stay with you. If you want to, and I hope that you will, if you're in the real estate business, you're in Miami Day, please do call these lovely ladies. Uh, they have each have their own phone number. One is 305 301. <clears throat> 1690. And the other one is 786 525 4621. And I'll be repeating these phone numbers because I know, you know, you're probably not ready for it, but we'll keep talking about it. 
uh, as we go along. And then I'll give you their website as we uh, finish up here. But let me get now back to you, Jackie. So, so you're going to, let's say, come in. They've called you. They've seen the ad. They've called you. And you're going to give them a list. You're going to take a listing from them. Yes. What do yes. you need to know about that? I mean, do you, you have to, of course, walk through and understand what they have, the location, and you're, and I'm not going to tell you what to do because I know you're, you're very experienced at this and you have to give them a price, but you just don't put a, get a price out of a hat. Tell them how you figure all that out. Right. So when we, when we go to a property, we look at any kind of updates that they've done. Do they have a pool? Is it a two story? Um, what have they updated the bathrooms, the kitchen, the flooring, any of those, every little thing makes a difference in the pricing. So we look at those and then we compare those to similar homes that have sold in the area. That's called a comparable price study. So that's the best way to find out how much a property is worth. So we do that and then we present. And we also take into consideration what the client wants to sell the property for. And then we try to come to an agreement that everybody's happy with. So it, it, right. it works out because people have an understanding of what their house is worth because their neighbors have sold the property or whatever. And then when we do the comparables, we end up in a place normally where everybody agrees. So. And then the next thing is working on a timeline. Mostly seniors and retirees do not want to sell quickly. They need a bit longer timeline sometimes. <laughs> well, Good they point. have. Yeah, yeah, so we have to work with that. Um, do they want to lease back? Do they want to sell the property and then have time to move out? These are all the kinds of things that we try to work out in the beginning so that when we do start to get offers, we can be very open with buyers and say, well, look, you know, the sellers really want to stay for another month or two after they sell. Are you okay with that? Like all of these little things make a difference. So to yeah. how happy someone is when they move, because especially in this market that's going very aggressively, they could get an offer within days, but they're, they're not ready for that. They want time to move out. So. Good point. Yes, it is a very different market. Um, so let's just say that the one thing that I, I know from selling real estate myself is we really don't want the owner there. And I'm sure you make arrangements because something that Shirley said, people are so sensitive. And if you, if you hear someone say, look at that terrible something there. And oh my goodness, that person, the owner will say, I don't want to sell this to them because they don't love my home because they want someone to come in and love their home, don't they? Yes. <laughs> so that's, that's what you were, you were talking about that. You see, so you, you know all those things. Now, a lot of people, they want to be there. And, and I, that's something you have to figure out. So um, you know, Shirley, have you run into that where they don't understand that you make the appointment and they want to be there to see well, them and they want to make sure nobody's going to touch their things? No, well, that's what we instill up front when we first meet, that we are there. We are um, the professional people that are coming in to do this and we personally guarantee that we make sure that no one touches things and no one and we in this market we work together you know as a, a single agent or when you're doing something on your own that's fine because most places um that you sell it's it's a different kind of setup and so but with this as i say we all come back to this sensitivity of their needs and and whatever and i always explain that when people come in especially you know you start off with an open house and that we bring people in to be there and to uh watch everything but that they really need to go you know have a little stroll in the park or go to Starbucks or to go out. I mean, it gets more difficult when obviously as it is today, I mean, there's such a huge influx of people, but again, that's something we manage. We don't, we're very um, conscious that 
they do not want to have the house straightened up in half an hour. So someone driving by and saying, oh, well, call up and oh, we'd like to look at that. And it's no, no, it's 24 hours. And if you don't like it, well, you know, move on to another house. But we, we must protect our client. And that's who we're working with and working for to get their home sold. I just wanted to touch on something you said earlier about buyers. The other thing that Jackie and I do is that we have people that can alter a home to make it um, more compliant for people. So people that are buying, um, it may you know just be a regular house, but they can. We can get someone that installs bars in the bathroom, uh, maybe a ramp, um, any alteration. And um, that needs, you know, for somebody to be comfortable in the home. Because many homes, they're now so lovely with their porcelain marble floor and, uh, you know, steps here and narrow steps upstairs that they're really not suitable. But we can adapt because we have uh, people, these are part of people that we're using, part of our referral team. So I just wanted That's to make excellent. that point. I, I am so glad you mentioned that. that See, that's what is the difference in someone just calling a general realtor and calling someone that understands exactly what you said. And then knowing about Jackie and then the fact she was a, you know, um, a, uh, um, I guess, let's see, you said that you were actually, a, let's see how, how you put it. It was a therapist. You were what kind of a therapist? An occupational therapist. I'm sorry, I didn't hear that occupational therapist oh an occupational therapist right so you whether you were old or young occupational therapy you understand how a person walks around moves and what they need and and i think what what Shirley said so true that now some of those older homes do have perfect places to slip uh, you know they don't have a lot of the things in fact i even had someone come in and put in grab bars in my my showers but you know it's not the what they, they built it with but let's let, let me just tell everybody again. Let me give you the phone numbers again. This is for Jackie Murdocko and for Shirley Pardon. It's 305-301-1690, 786-525-4621. Now, you may be listening to this or you may not even be a senior. They will certainly sell or buy. They'll take you with them and they'll help you buy a home. They also sell your home. They don't. They they specialize in senior, you know, realty because they know a lot. But don't let that fool you. I mean, they know so much that, about the big condos, about a lot of things. We're just focusing in. If you are a senior and you're watching this or hear about them, because there aren't very many people like them, and that's why we were happy that they joined with us. But let's also talk about. Are you doing rentals for people? Let's say someone does come in from up north. Yeah. So, so uh, Jackie, are you, uh, you have rentals all over, uh, houses and condos? Yes, the yeah. housing rentals are very tight right now, um, but there, you can find some nice homes still to rent. And the apartments or condos are a lot easier to find. And there are still a lot in the Miami-Dade area we know the areas well, so we would just find out like what is the client looking for? Do they want to be on the beach where they can go for a morning walk every day? Or would they rather be in a walkable neighborhood where they could walk to the supermarket? I mean, these are questions that you find out from your client before you start, because Miami is so diverse and very large. And do they have family that they want to see? Like, there's a lot of things that you have to take into consideration, but there's a lot of options available in all price ranges in Miami-Dade. So we're lucky that um, right. we have so much. Yeah, that, yeah that, that, that's very, very good thinking. And, and going back to you, Shirley, you're, um, when you talked about antiques, and that was an interesting idea about that, um, there are places though that are, and I think that's just what uh, what um, Jackie touched on. There are places that have all this walking ability with art shows like Coconut Grove and, and some of the newer areas that 
people may like. So it's not, you know, a home is wonderful and you want it to be comfortable. But I think people, especially the older adults, they need to walk, they need to walk around. And I think knowing the area and asking them, well, you know, do you like art shows? Do you like antiques? Do you like the theater? You know, we can find places that'll be a little bit closer for you. What about that, Shirley? Miami has grown up um, in varying areas. Now, I knew Doral. I was selling in Doral when Doral was really nothing. Now, it is a very thriving, it has a little downtown. It has everything there. And, uh, and without, if I hadn't known the area, I wouldn't know that that was a community area where people can walk and so much going on. The same in Kendall and the in the southern the western part of Kendall there's this wonderful new theater and they've built these communities where people can walk and lots of parks so it's important and there's good shopping out there and so they have they because Miami itself is congested um, it's a city and the prices here keep going up but there are other alternatives. And as, uh, as Jackie said, Coconut Grove, but I mean, there's the Gables, they're developing a lot in Western Gables. Mm -hmm. And so they're now putting in place in these areas and they have hospitals and they have very good facilities. Whereas it was sort of almost like a wasteland. I've been here 30 years and I mean, Kendall was nothing. <laughs> I couldn't believe it but I go down and I, I look and I see what's going on and uh, and Homestead my goodness there's so much there well, but yes the, knowing the areas is good a lot of the areas are growing so much and, and a lot to top on the medical facilities available a lot of the hospitals in Miami have opened satellites okay so in ah. Africa, you have satellites now, and you, in, in downtown, you have satellites. In Miami Beach, you have satellites. So this That's makes a good point for an older adult. They want to know where the health, where, where the right. health centers are. Very accessible yeah. everywhere in Miami now, and we're attracting top-notch doctors, medical providers now. So it's Miami's a really great place to grow old. There's a lot yeah. going like. Normally, in normal times, you know, you have the Art Basel and the Wine and Food Festival and antique shows. And I mean, the list just goes on and on and on. There's something every weekend. So it's a great place to retire. Yeah, it is. Let me also give now before we, I don't want us to be shut down, their website, SouthFloridaSeniorRealEstate.com. Write that down. You spell it out, SouthFloridaSeniorRealEstate.com. And you can get on their website if you would like to do that. But uh, Jacqueline Murdaco is the 305-301-1690. And Shirley is 786-525-4, <clears throat> excuse me, 4621. And if everything else fails, call us at Boomer Times and we'll get you the information. I always tell everybody that. But um, I, I think that um, we're just about out of time and this has been great. I, I knew when they first called us and they wanted to work with us, it was perfect. I was looking for an organization like this in Miami, as a matter of fact. So um, you are just great ladies and I'm looking forward to finding out how, you know, every time if you make a sale or you make a lease or something, let me know. I want to know about the people. Oh, and then we can well, talk about thank you. We'll come and take you to lunch. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, that, that, and, yeah, but thank, thank you. It's very been much. very lovely. This yeah, you did a great nice. job. Thank yeah, you. Your Zoomer, your Zoom virgin. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> but um, Not everybody, now. right, right. So everybody, goodbye. Thank you for being All with right. us today, and I bye think bye. you'll bye. you'll enjoy this. Show this to your family, so they'll know who you're going to be dealing with. Thank you. Have a good day, Nina. Thank yeah. you. We'll, thank you very much. We'll be much. back with another show. Okay, thank you. Bye.